This video will outline the benefits of using networked functional safety systems and then how fail-safe communications work in modern networks. Just as a refresher, functional safety comprises the active safety measures used to reduce the risk of harm to people, assets and the environment due to the failure of equipment or improper use. There are lots of applicable standards and resources you can review if you're unfamiliar with functional safety. Functional safety systems are common in discrete industrial applications now. But is your safety system also helping you maximise productivity? Across many industries, increased flexibility requires rapid reconfiguration of machines. Hardwired safety systems employ safety relays which are interconnected to provide a safety function. Hardwired systems are very effective for simple safety applications. As the system grows, to include more inputs and outputs though, wiring becomes expensive and difficult to troubleshoot, while diagnostics are very limited. If new functionality is needed, these systems require significant rewiring and new validation efforts. If you are using hardwired safety circuits and relays, contemporary safety systems with more intelligence, connectivity and extensibility could boost your bottom line while keeping your facility safe. Because of these requirements for increased data and connectivity, it is desirable to provide safety services over standard communication networks. One of the leading industrial networks, Ethernet IP, runs on standard unmodified Ethernet. Using the foundation of the Common Industrial Protocol, an open communications specification managed by ODVA. Because SIP exists only in the application layer of the OSI and TCP models, it is easy to add high-integrity safety services and diagnostics without requiring special communications hardware. This leverages existing communication infrastructure and helps reduce lifecycle costs. This enhanced protocol is called SIP Safety and it can coexist with other application layer protocols like SIP Motion and SIP Security. Safety data in the device is packed into the SIP safety protocol, which resides inside an Ethernet IP packet, which becomes an Ethernet frame. Since making a safety rated network would be impractical, the SIP safety protocol leverages the black channel principle, putting the intelligence in the end devices instead of the network hardware. That means maximum flexibility of network design is possible without compromising safety. The end devices perform the diagnostics on the SIP safety protocol to detect each type of error that could occur in the network, so that the device can still go to a safe state when an error occurs. Let's look at how those errors are mitigated. To measure the age of the data, which can detect packets which are lost, delayed, repeated, inserted or out of sequence, a combination of timestamps and time expectation is used. The device compares received data against an expected age limit for packets. To keep the clock synchronised, time coordination messages are passed as well. It is important to prevent unauthorised devices from being part of the safe logical connection, so the CRCs in each message are initialised with unique identifiers from the devices. There is a 16-bit CRC appended to the data, plus an inverted version of the original data and a 24-bit CRC of the inverted data and timestamp, split into two parts. This prevents accidental corruption of bits from being undetected. The previously mentioned methods are only used by safety devices to prevent standard data as being interpreted as safety data. All of these together plus additional measures for configuration allows a single Ethernet cable to deliver fault-tolerant functional safety. SIP safety has been verified and certified by TUV Rhineland to be SIL 3 Category 4 Performance Level E and recorded in the internationally recognised standard IEC 61784-3-2.
Using SIP safety as part of your system can maintain or improve your safety while increasing the effectiveness of your organisation. For more information about SIP safety, visit odva.org or contact one of the many licensed vendors with SIP safety products.